hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to see how to fix a device attached to the system is not functioning in windows 11 10 8 and 7 let's fix it guys method one replug the device the first and simplest step is to unplug the device and plug it back in this can resolve many issues related to a faulty connection Unplug the device from the USB port or the other connection types. Reboot your system. Next, plug the device back in after the system rebooted to see if it is functions properly. If this method doesn't fix, let's move on to the method 2 guys. Method 2, you just need to try a different port. Sometimes the issue with the port, not the device. Try another USB port or connection on your computer. If possible, connect the device to another PC or laptop to verify if the device is functioning correctly. Method 3 is to check device manager for device issues. If the device isn't functioning correctly, there might be an issue with its driver or configuration. To check that, go to search menu and type device manager. Click on open it. You just need to expand the Universal Serial Bus Controller section. Look for any yellow warning icons or LED crosses in Universal Serial Bus Controller section. If you see any of the symbol, then you just need to right click on it and select uninstall device. And select uninstall and uninstall the device. After that, you just need to close stuff here and go ahead and restart your PC. After restarting your PC, you can check if the problem solved or not. If the problem not solved, let's move on to the method 4 guys. Method 4 is to disable power management for USB devices. To do this, go to search menu and type device manager. Click on open it. You just need to expand the universal serial bus control section. And you just need to right click on these devices USB hub. Just right click on it and select properties. Select power management tab and uncheck allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Click on OK to save changes. Do the same for other USB hub devices listed over here. After doing it, just to close stuff here and go ahead and restart your PC. After restarting your PC, you can check if the problem solved or not. I hope one of these methods fixed your problem. If the video helped you, don't forget to leave a like guys. You can also subscribe me and support me guys. Thank you.